Getting in this one. New to this. I've not played it. You're a novice alchemist wandering the world in search of your destiny. After a long journey, you have finally found a place to ply your trade. Yes, in the derelict countryside. Abandoned house. You found an abandoned house on the edge of town. Judging by the alchemy equipment in the garden, the former owner seems to have practiced alchemy. Apparently a wizard used to live here, but the layer of dust and the condition of the house suggest that it has been empty for a long time. Yeah, I would, I would surmise that. You decide to turn the house into a potion shop. After several days of cleaning and preparing, the shop is ready for its first customers. It's time to remember your alchemy skills and start this life in a new town. Potions are made from ingredients. Take two terrarias and two water blooms from your inventory and throw them in the cauldron. To move ingredients, click and hold the mouse, blah blah blah. Play, pay attention to the alchemy map and the, to the laboratory wall. It shows you the path the ingredient shows you the path the ingredients create once they are added to the cauldron. So terraria. Throw them in the cauldron. Okay, how, how do we take those? You can take like all of that. After adding ingredients, you can stir the potion. Stirring the potion advances the potion icon down the path defined by the ingredients. Use the potion to stir. Click and hold the mouse and move the spoon back and forth until the potion icon on the map reaches the desired position. Stirring allows the potion icon to collect experience points. Accumulating experience lets you level up, but has no effect on the current potion. What? Okay. Yeah, sure. Now the potion icon is touching an unknown effect. To find out what the effect does, you need to add it to the current potion. To add the effect of the potion, you need to bring the water in the cauldron to a boil. Use the bellows to blow on the coal and heat the cauldron to the desired temperature. Take the bellows by the handle and continue blowing on the coals until there is an explosion over the cauldron. Perfect, you've added a new effect to the potion healing. To finish making the potion, press finish potion. Interesting. Interesting. Grinding ingredients. A mortar and pestle are in an, are an alchemist's best friend. You can use the mortar and pestle to grind up practically any ingredients and unlock their potential. This helps you create the same potion using fewer ingredients. Try to create the same potion using this one and one. Take terraria from your inventory, place it in the mortar, grind it up. So the longer we grind it, the more it'll travel. So that's it. Does that look fully ground to you? Not really, but I guess so. Uh, okay. Putting that in our inventory? What's going on here? Okay, so that... What is going on right now? Yeah, we did that. We did that. Cannot... Put that in there. Like that. Okay, okay. So we're we're grounded. Putting it in there. Completely grind the water bloom. Okay. We wanna make sure we keep it in here. In this thing. Add the ground. Okay. Stir it using the spoon. Spoon it up. Get that. Oh, oh, oh. What's 
going on? Why does it do that? Like, why is it resetting the spoon, ultimately? So, I mean, you just gotta move it, I guess. Just back and forth. Eat the potion with the bellows, baby. Pop it. Saving. But used half as your potion. Will, uh, always attempt to be optimal, so experiment. If you're happy with the potion you made, save it in the recipe book. Okay, where is that? Save it. Okay, move between rooms. You're now the owner of the potion shop, and your task is not only to brew potions, but also sell them. Customer has arrived. Go to the shop. For moving bet between rooms, use the navigation keys. Okay, go to the shop, click the navigation button. Okay. Every day, people from all over town and even from other towns will stop in to buy various magic potions. I'm sure they do. They need that. You know what I mean? Use a potion right now. Your job is to brew magic potions in the laboratory and sell them to customers. Many potions must be brewed for a specific purpose, but it's still a good idea to keep a few of them. The most popular potions on hand just in case. It will clear, it will be, it will be clear from their reaction. Okay, gotcha. Okay. So what do we got? Two potions of healing. My husband has been ill for some time now, but recently he got even worse. Now he can't even keep up. He has a fever and sweats. Do you have any medicine for my poor husband? Okay. So we have to put it there. So getting 10 for that. We don't have any choice. Okay. I was walking down the street minding my own business when a flower pot fell out of nowhere and bonked them. Good thing I've always had a thick skull, but out cold, but I have a nice big bump in my head. What can I rub on it to make it go away? I mean, I, I don't even want to give you one, man. You got a bump on the head. Okay. Start haggling. Try haggling for a better price. What is going on? Profit. What is this up here? Okay. While you're haggling, you can talk to the visitor on various topics. Each, each visitor has their own set of topics from completely unimportant to very sensitive. The closer the topic is to the visitor's heart, the harder it is to talk about, so the arrow will move faster. You can also get significantly more profit. If you refuse to haggle, the visitor will be upset, and the haggling will end with the worst result. The goal of the minigame is to tip the scales to the left, thus achieving a better deal. Press the haggle button when the arrow is on the gold bonuses to tip the scales in your fa favor, but don't hesitate, because after the first click, the scales will gradually tip in the visitor's favor. Hitting the gold bonuses tips the scale in your favor, and missing does the opposite. The longer you haggle, the narrower the bonuses become, and at some point they disappear completely, so don't de delay too long. You will run out of topics and the visitor will find you too intrusive. Hitting the arrow on any of the green bonuses on the left or right will lock in the profit complete the deal. Okay. I have no idea. What in the world did we just do right now? I have no idea. <laughs> ah, this is... You will often not have a ready-made potion for certain guns. Okay, you can always go back to the laboratory to make the potion there. There's no time limit. Okay. So we gotta make a potion again. Garden. Go to the garden. Every day new herbs and mushrooms will grow in the garden. Don't forget to pick them. Click on an ingredient to gather them. 
see what's going on with this what was it saying before I'm, I'm a banana head so I mean if if what are you gonna do throwing some lefties there pop it up get nothing nothing getting nothing so we gotta we gotta try that maybe okay pop it in there let's pop that boy up nothing not getting anything interesting want to go somewhere to get the poison? Is that like what it is? I'm still like kind of losing it. Like I, I just don't try and, I'm trying to grasp it. So I mean we're grinding that boy up. We get there. Chuck it in there. We're locked in on the down path. Okay. Sure, why not? Kind of like lost in a sense. Like, I'm not sure why. We need to get down there or something? Like, what? is going on right now so like we did last time I mean I don't know what I'm not grasping right now so maybe that that it's actually like a different ingredient or something Let's try. We, we get different stuff there. Getting closer to that thing. And that's ultimately what we want. Is that we need to get to a new effect. And that's a new effect. Don't forget to use all the alchemy equipment available. Yeah, so far I am. I mean, I, I'm like lost right now. I don't know what else I could be doing here. I feel like I, uh... I mean, what is this? Uh... So, yeah, uh... What is going on right now? That... That... It's just... Nothing. You know, they say you keep trying the same thing over and over again. Expecting a different result. Might be the definition of insanity. I mean, I don't know what we're doing, like... There's nothing... Not brewing nothing. Just... What? That last tip? Is is gonna, like, literally mess up this whole thing that I, I don't know what it said before. 
so I skipped it by accident and now it's just like it's it's totally impossible to do this I just don't know what exactly I could be doing wrong here don't forget to try all the you're gonna blow that or something can't go down mix it so if you mix it prior to hmm not sure what I'm missing this is uh not a not a really good sign at all I'm gonna have to like restart the tutorial this is insane so we're through with this yeah we get it put them both in here The fire adds the effect that you land on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, then we grind the ingredients, of course. Okay. Grind the water bloom. So we end on the potion. At least the healing thing. Okay. Yeah, we stir it. Okay, we lock it in. Saving. Save it. Finish it. Of course, we go back. We sell this stuff. Healing one, healing one. They're pretty much the same thing. Sell it. Get rid of it. This guy bonked his head. Haggle. Ah. I'm supposed to watch that guy's face. So go to the garden. Yeah, one of them, one of them. This customer, you will have to look for the most. You'll have to look for most of the effects on your own throughout the map. But you remember from your alchemy lessons that such a potion. Okay. there was there was no knowledge gain there so it's like you wanna okay you only want to stir as much as you need to so I mean we want the poison just down there so I mean and then to the left I, I don't know I, I don't see anything specifically Ah, so that's actually starts at the grinding phase. Alright, we're learning here. So it actually starts on the grinding phase. With that. And if you were to put that in there. Okay, interesting. So there's no other way to like not doing anything with that so you're putting that in there and then that's gonna bring it that way 
so ultimately are we just like trying to find where this thing would be not landing on anything hmm so there's no way to like mid where like we want to be here and then stop and put that in and then go like that way you know what I'm saying like can we do that let's see but like we're not we're not even getting any so that that's probably what we want to get to which is this right I guess we're gonna go as far as we can there and then I guess we take it that was my problem was that I wasn't using the spoon basically absolutely silly and out of my mind so I'm gonna save that weak potion of poisoning Turn to the shop to sell it, of course. We want to poison this. The cat. Gonna poison. So is there any way to see what they like? Good deal, plus two. Topic, food, easy. Ah. Um. I mean, how the hell would you switch? Telling me you're gonna switch? Is there key binds? How would you switch quick in the middle of haggling with them? That's pretty intense. So, uh, food? She wants poison? Alright. Oh my god, we gotta get all those? What is going on right now? Some of this stuff is a little... <laughs> End the day, click on the bed. Yeah, all right. Sure. I need to rest after that. Jesus. Yeah, refresh my alchemy knowledge. I, I think I've, like, erased any alchemy knowledge I have. In the attic next to the bed, you found a few ingredients and a ladle. Is your potion shop now and decide to do... What to do next? Greet customers, chat, sell potions, haggle, gather ingredients, and gradually explore alchemy. Yeah, grab an ingredient from my inventory. Pick these every day. Make sure we get fresh ingredients. Pick that. Grind up ingredients to reveal. Toss the ingredient. Okay, ladle for water. I'm a what? the hell is that about all right we got plenty of terraria so ultimately goal achieved I got a delivery of firewood but it's all damp and won't even burn is there a way to dry it out you serious dude you want a potion that dries out firewood what is this stuff Move down to the basement. This alchemy machine is badly damaged. Find a merchant who can sell you parts for a new alchemy machine. Okay. That's, that'll be the upgraded playset there, I imagine. I'm gonna just tone this down a little bit. Getting overloaded here with uh, Life Leaf. So. 
wind. So we should explore that way, no? I mean, that's that's probably advantageous. I don't know if we end up getting both of those. I guess we'll see. What's the potential in? Something to do with water. can't undo that so you'd have to imagine we're going up for sure it wants us to do that I would imagine mushroom owes its name when ground in mortar sulfur life link all right let, let's go with this one so I like the way that that's looking right there chuck that in there I, I don't what does this do No idea. Okay. Pick up all that. We're in the boneyard. Oh, schnid. What is that about? We can't be traversing through the boneyard. Apparently. So we, we probably want to go up. I'm still feeling up. Up is the way to go. So we're gonna do that, even though it, it seems like we're avoiding that one. And that that's like a circle, circle back, circle back, Jackie, Saki, over here. Uh, well, at this point, we can do a lot more. Don't really have any idea where to go. So, we're going to keep heading in this direction. And then go back more wind bloom. Maybe another water bloom. Keep it spicy. We'll, we'll go three deep. Maybe that's what that's about. Okay. And we lost our spoon. That is why. That is why we had an issue with that. So we need to find, perhaps... Alright, we got what we could there. It's not much to say that the potion failed. We don't see any other... So, I mean, there's a lot of XP to be had over here. A sulfur leaf. Don't necessarily want to use that. We are trying to round up all this stuff over here, so... Really, I guess that is... That is kind of essential. So, we're gonna grab that. And then that's gonna put us in, like, a vortex up there or something like that. So, let's keep exploring. What is this? Can abandon the potion? I don't want to do that. Chuck that in there. What other good good finds we got here? Nothing. Walk back on herself. It's kind of like exploratory. I guess we, we could do that. We'll get exploratory on a on a mother trucker. Alright, that's not a new potion. That's like absolutely horrendous, I bet. Nothing but experience grabbed. Do some exploration. Bang, bang, bang. We're getting a lot of AXP. Nice talent. Uh, so... I don't know what this potion will do, right? We have to... We have to... Flavor this bad boy. We're not landing on anything. There's no... Yeah, no. 
like there's no potion, there's nothing happening. So now do, do you... So it's like you want to keep traveling? The whole objective of this has got me turned right now. I'm just like, I'm just mortar and pestle in my way. Throwing things in this pot. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. We're going to do another fire bell. Uh, it's like, this is what the journey must be. You know? This is the journey in this game. I wish I didn't feel so lost. That's probably also why you don't want to, like, stir the whole... Or even put a whole one in there. But you want to make sure you can actually get to safety. So, I'm going to toss that one in there. Another fire bell. Grind them up, baby. We're going to be seeking fortune here. Pass up. It's going to take us into the dead zone. So, eh, you stop. Oh, we made the path. We're on the path to destruction now. So there's no way to go about it. I mean, what if we like, we're like mega? Nah. That's crazy. Wow. Interesting game. And so there's one over there. Literally all the way out there. So we could stop on that bad boy. And we just like throw in a bunch of these. To our... Like you have to do these one at a time. That That's kind of... Saint. Ah, look at that. It's actually getting like a little bit of coloration on that. You see that in there? Look at that. That's interesting. Very cool little touch. Now, what is this doing? Is that like resetting perhaps? So... Potion toward the center? Is that what it said? Okay. New effect. Fire. Okay. Very interesting. I did need that. What what happens when you go in the, uh, the vortex? Probably don't want to find that out. So now the ladle takes you back toward the center. And that's going to like get us killed. Very, very interesting. We go north from here. Okay, that's that's good. I like that. You grab that stuff up there. So we're starting to understand this a little bit. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. All right, you know what? Let's take this trip first, so we see a little bit more. I'm tempted to go into that. But we don't we don't have any easy yeah let's let's take a fire bell and let's let's take a trip let's take a trip let's see what this does does nothing so it's just just trying to scare you what's that about it's 
just trying to scare you a little bit. Or maybe it's going to kind of twist you while you go. Figure that out. Hmm. No way to go north from here. So we're going to have to go. Although I could take a free ride, I guess. Throw it in there, head this way. I tell you what, that there's not Well let's sell a potion here. Craft this potion. Finish it. Twenty-four. Haggle. Wealth. Eye to eye, you know. It's kind of honestly like this game is is making me feel like, like I am not as astute as I once thought I was. So I'm gonna have to. Uh, it's just so much going on. So the explore radius, trading, chemical practice. Don't want to haggle on hard difficulty. So I have no idea what's going on. Ten percent. So more experience. Good to get those. That extra ten percent. So really the price. Not sure what we need the money for really. I haven't, uh, haven't figured that out yet. Not figured that out yet. What was I even just doing? just looking at oh, actually did you see that did you see that I stirred it 39 times what the hell is this potion this thing would eat This thing would eat all of my ingredients alive. Is that gonna just make it from these? We're like actually gonna take seven, seven and four. So you need four fire bells. Okay, so that's one, that's not seven. It's one and one and four. Okay. So. Holy crap. Healing tincture. Yeah, we do. Now, how do we pull off a potion? Let's 
going on here? What? Why that kind of be so... so wacky like that? So, I'm gonna guess that we have to, like, get the same thing here. So the horn and, like, we're getting annoying. They never said the life of a potion salesman was easy. This is, this is brutal. This is brutal. I have to say, this is going to be the end of this one. This is absolutely infuriating. There's kind of like no point to this in my opinion. 